You've been associated with Walt Disney since the beginning of your career. And those comparisons will continue. Miyamoto is currently overseeing the design and installation of Super Nintendo World. A half billion dollar theme park at Universal Studios Osaka. I was asked, what are you going to do when video games go out of style? Even if that happens, the digital experience is becoming more and more a part of human life. It's not so much the atmosphere that keeps me going, but the fact that I still spend a lot of my weekends thinking about games. Since I can easily try to play these games at home on the weekend, I usually have a long list of things to try and figure out on Monday. As for my own kids, I'm lucky to always have a good relationship with video games. It's important for parents to play to understand why their child can't stop before the next rescue. Point, for example, not necessarily, but when I'm trying to create a world of games, I like to work on the action, the movement. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that there's research that focuses on these simple mechanisms, but it's not ideal that everyone does it just because it sells well. The only thing I focus on is people trying to create new experiences. I don't think the evolution of video games has changed the way I look at the world or me, but their influence has certainly affected other areas of my life. Because of his mystique, Nintendo tries to keep Miyamoto away from the media as Nick Palmgarten wrote in his 2010 profile. Winning over an audience is a bit like trying to save Princess Toad Null but a few days after Miyamoto's birthday, I had a rare opportunity to talk to him about Zoom. And he was willing to show more of the man behind the mascot than I expected. Game director Martin Hollis told me that when he first tried the game, he expressed his sadness at the number of people Bond shot and suggested that he make the player visit each victim in his hospital bed during the credits. Up to that point, I had a somewhat confusing experience with people perceiving me as a negative person when it came to details and as a very positive person when it came to the big picture. But if you ask the people on the front line to work with me, they might say that I'm too demanding or that I'm always commenting on their work. I believe in video games as a means of expression, and I feel that they can often tell us things about ourselves that are different from what we get from literature or movies. If I said something, they would probably say, but the train is empty, what's the problem? But if I were handicapped and saw people sitting there, I wouldn't ask them to move.